Welcome to another Sengoku Jidai battle. This match against Steph. We have Oda versus Iko Iki. We're defending. We have fortifications, which presumably Steph will attempt to simply go around. It's generally the standard procedure with these things, but we'll see. We'll dump our weakest, cheapest units in to hold the fortifications along with any missile troops we have. All right, and what we're really gonna have to do is probably fight to hmm, forests in front of the hill are a problem. Maybe Samurai can hold it. The difficulty here is that the Iki are likely to have not just more troops, but more missile troops, so they might be able to simply drive us out of our defenses. Or choose an open flank. So... All right. Okay, lots of missile troops. So yeah, that's going to be a problem on the bright side. The Ikoiki units are heavy weapon for melee, which does not have a impact POA against cavalry. We do have a bit of cavalry to work with. Gunmen will have to get into range two to fire. So if we can just storm an initial volley with the cover of our defenses, we can then charge. like that. Now we wait. Next turn. I mean, I can't imagine that I'm really going to be doing anything here. We'll just let him advance. It is unfortunate that we're going to have to get shot at and then charge uphill, but yeah. Warriors is a superior heavy weapon, and pretty dangerous. We are a little outnumbered. I think uh, there's a, I want to say, a 15% gap in points. It might even be less than that, I can't recollect. I mean, obviously we're outnumbered in manpower, but that's not so important. Okay, we'll let them keep pushing forward. Next turn. Hanging back there is a bit concerning, isn't it? Okay, we'll swing out here since he seems inclined to refuse his flanks and push the center. A 
What about this situation? Let's see. You go out wide. And well, we're going to shift units back towards the center. I don't think trying to push out far this way is really a uh, worthwhile activity. All right. Next turn. Should be getting started for real now. There we go. Well, that's asking for trouble if he has brakes in the front. Okay, we are off to go reinforce the center. Yeah, 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 that's fine. You, sure, ride out, draw some units off, whatever. All right. Charge those gunners. It's okay. It's uphill. Hmm, they're just gonna shoot us again then. It's not ideal. I could try to fall back. Good luck. <laughs> okay, it did work out. Uh yeah. Fire, and unfortunately they'll be charging us downhill. We get the fortification, but it's still gonna be a loss for us in that matchup. Here, we'll charge raw garbage. Good. You can charge. Uh, hold them in place. And oh, let's go. And since they are just sitting there, loose arrows to encourage movement. Hit those gunners. They bounce off a bit. And they can't charge cavalry. They can. But if they do it head on, we'll just bounce off anyway, so that's fine. Okay. Not bad. So here, do we want to charge these eco gunners? I mean, let's hold off on that for now. Next turn. Good. Should just be able to bounce there. Yep. That does prevent me from charging again, though, so. Well done, actually. I got the fortification there. Yeah, bounce them off, and then we'll pour in more fire. Bold move. I don't know that I would do that. Ouch.
Okay. Well, I really want to try to get a disrupt on that unit, but it's probably not going to happen. Yeah, let's just work on that. There. Start threatening a charge. Uh huh. Why don't you make some room so we can fall back if we need to? These guys are dead, so go die somewhere out of the way so that we can prepare to reoccupy our fortifications. He'll charge the flank, they'll collapse, they'll pursue, then we'll counter charge, etc. I did not notice they were disrupted. The yellow on yellow. Unfortunate. Oh well, so then we go here. Cut him up in melee. Uh, loose. Nothing. Okay. Let's hit those gunners. Move to support. And yet yeah, they can't charge us, so we'll ignore that and stay in place for the moment. Okay, not bad. Next turn. Ouch, 18. Might not be able to just sit there then. Good. We didn't pursue. I think the um, when you're defending fortifications, you're less likely to pursue. Yeah. Which is certainly helping us here. We're through, and they hold firm. Ah, it's a shame. We're going to get shot at them. That's awkward. <clears throat> bounced. Yep. Good. And bounced. Why didn't you go for the flank? Pretty smooth so far. Ah, that disruption is kind of what I was afraid of. <laughs> okay, yeah, I'll take it. Ouch. Well, let's... <sighs> Good point. <sighs> Just charge here. Bounce back. Fine. Fire. And push forward and charge. Okay. You move away. Prepare to plug that gap. Counter charge. Good. And fire what to do oh they're in close combat <clears throat> okay, loose charge keep at it uh, 
Um, there. Go for the break. Uh -huh. Oops. Hopefully they break and we pursue so we don't get auto-dropped here. Um, here. So, this is actually, I mean, it doesn't matter in this case, but there's a slight, uh, not bug, but, well, it's kind of a bug. The cavalry should get a plus 100 against the mob in the open, and it doesn't. It never got coded in. Uh, in this case, it doesn't matter because we are superior. Uh, but if we had an average unit of cavalry, we'd be at 175, where we should be at 200. And if we didn't have the general, we'd be at 125, where again, you know, we should be at 200. So, not a huge deal. I can see why it didn't get caught earlier in development, and, you know, obviously the game is not being developed further at this point. All right, I think that's all we need to do. Will be more irritating. Uh, let's go that way. Next turn. Oh, all right, rude. Ah, they held firm. That's too bad. Good. <laughs> oh. Oh. Um. Oh. It's a bit not ideal. Yeah. <laughs> Come on. Unacceptable. Well, there goes the left. It was looking so healthy. Bounce that. It's not a flank attack. We have fortification after all. Should be able to shove them off, no problem. of interesting things happening here. Okay. Um, uh, here. Go for it. No? Try again. Better. We move here and set up an auto drop. They hold firm. Fragged. Good. Um, hmm. Gonna have to charge there. Out of the way. Zone them in. Solves one problem anyway. And fire. Charge. Fragged and bounced. It's fine. 
charge. Loose. Threat and drop. You're dead. Um, I guess, I don't know. Try to ride away. Nice. Well, despite all the messiness, it's probably game. All right, let's match. So, what I'll say about these attack-defense battles when you're attacking, you know, there's really no need to attack head-on. I mean, there's not enough room to send everyone to the flanks, but, you know, there's some good approaches here. There's rice paddies, woods, you could try to seize this hill by taking these woods first and force a battle on more even terms. And then if you are going to attack fortifications, you could try to take control of an edge and then nibble at a corner and stay out of range of most return fire and try to get the disrupt there and then push your way in. Uh, but you really don't need to do a head-on assault. And if you are going to do a head-on assault, uh, leave space, a uh, checkerboard for your units to route through, and a gap between the front and the rear so a break doesn't lead to cohesion checks. So, a good game. Until next time.